A film Keiki's class of 2023. It is go time. Well, not quite, but it is go time for me this year because I'm going to do something a little different and I'll explain as we get into the video. But the class of 2021 and the class of 2022 Keiki alumni are about to get class of 2023 for company and there may just be a little bit of music. And if you're into something like that, let's go. Thank you for clicking on this video. It is an exciting day for me and my class of 2023 of film Keikis. I appreciate that you're here. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, this is an ongoing project of a monster mount that I'm doing. I have a vision and I hope by 2026 we will be able to see some semblance of what I am dreaming of. Having said all that, first of all, we're gonna harvest the keikis, I'm gonna be cutting canes, I'm gonna be putting cinnamon on all of them, and then I shall explain, as I put them on the monster mount, why I'm going in this early and not waiting just a little bit longer. Please subscribe to the channel, it would help tremendously, and also like the video. These two combinations work a treat. Now, if you want to share the video, that is the perfect hat trick. That is the hat trick that YouTube likes so much. So if you can do that for me, thank you so, so much in advance. It is good to have you here. All the harvested and pinned keikis here that you see, I have had years and years of cultivating while they were on the mother plant, on the cane, cultivating their roots, misting and misting during a time of year where it is warm and very, very dry. 30% humidity is deluxe during the months of July and August. So it took a lot of misting. What I would like to avoid this year and hopefully still come out on top is to harvest my keikis before the roots even develop any further for two reasons. This way they can already grow into the mount straight away. They haven't gotten long enough and I don't risk breaking them when I pin them to the mount. Some things that I have been dealing with in the past quite a lot. There would be a little bit of breakage at the root tip, their keikis, etc. Now, yes, I could twist them off and then pin them to the mount and that is extremely cumbersome I find. In the past when my roots were very long you can see I made little extra paddings and then I pinned that padding onto the mount. What I'm going to do this year and hopefully will come out on top and be successful at it is use the storage cane as the main cane that is going to allow the keiki to continue growing its roots, pinning that into the grating and if I need to, I am going to sew the other part of the cane down just to keep it secure. I'm going to do that with all nine that we've just harvested. And then the idea being that the roots grow into the hop filter material straight away. Other new growths on this monster mount, their roots are now going into the hop filter material a little bit late, I would say, because if I had done this last year and the year before, it's possible that the actual roots of the keiki would have already gone into the hop filter. That is what I'm doing different this year and I hope things are gonna turn out well. Now you might be saying, why am I not putting cinnamon at the end here? Well, I've got a lot of root activity happening all over this mount. I really don't want cinnamon to blow off and then spoil the progress of the roots that are currently happening. It is so dry in my climate, I have absolutely no risk of any rot. So, the key word now in this video, so, because we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I promised you some music. I'm gonna show you one example and then earworm alert. The idea being to get around all the foliage of the other keikis, hoping that this is going to also benefit those so I don't stab them with a needle and not catch any with my fishing line <laughs> as I pull it up. And boy, do these keikis now need a drink. 
but I haven't misted the mount for about two hours. That's how quickly it dries out because I don't like working with wet fishing line. It always astounds me how long the cane that I leave on the keiki actually still stays intact. I still have plump canes from yesteryear on the other keikis. So that's one down, eight to go. Doe a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me a name I call myself, far a long, long way to run. So a needle pulling thread, la a song I sing with joy. Tea I drink with jam and bread, that'll bring me back to so, 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 so. <laughs> of course, it's that'll bring me back to do, 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 a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun, me a name I call myself, far, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread, la, I sing a song of joy, tea, I drink with jam and bread, that'll bring me back to do, 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 do. Anyone? Earworm alert. You're welcome. <laughs> Right about now, it's when I would like to know, do you harvest your Aphilum keikis? Do you remount them? Do you give them away? Do you have a project like this in mind? Can you grow it outside all year round? <laughs> all these questions because I don't want to throw a single keiki away. Let me know in the comments what you do with your Aphilum keikis. If anything, I've also seen mother plants that have years and years and years of keikis on them. So it's not like you have to take them off. It's just if you're greedy like me. <laughs> I'm also linking the video how I made this mount in the description if you're interested. It's quite something, <laughs> if I may say so myself. It's completely 100% inorganic. It is super lightweight. In case you would like some inspiration for a project like this in your collection, Really? Come on, we're almost done here, why? I need you to be a little bit down. Don't roll up on me. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to hope for the best. I kinda wanted those itty bitty roots to be closer to the hop filter material, but like these guys, they're sticking out. Oh well, we're not gonna force the keikis, we're gonna be staying on top of the watering. Now, in the past years, all my roots were long enough and normally you would want to wait until you can see that the keiki roots are starting to absorb water in their own right. One could say this is premature, but I am banking on the fact that the canes that I've left on the keikis have plenty of storage in them to stick around, provide the keiki long enough for those roots to grow. As mentioned, the keikis from yesteryear that were also cut off with their canes, some of the canes are still plump to this day, which is pretty phenomenal. And I'm gonna make that work in my favor by doing it this way. It is done. There's more humidity around the monster mount than I would be able to provide when the warm winds come and the roots should find their way into the hop filter material sooner rather than later. Why wait when the dendrobium is giving us this opportunity? Oh, it feels so good to be able to water them. Normally by mid-afternoon, I've already watered this mount four times. So it's only had two today because I did want to get this project done today and feel a little bit more at ease if I can't get to misting the keikis while they're still on the mother plant. And I'm just using plain RO water now because this morning the mount itself had had a fertilizer concentration of 100 parts per million twice 
within a very short time period just to make sure that nothing dries out don't want things to get salty <laughs> even the attitude cannot get salty no 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 and this is now just plain ro water and i'll be doing this probably two more times before i call it a day oh it's so much fun harvesting keikis and being able to water like this abundantly Woohoo! <laughs> So much fun in the sun. Well, bright shade, but warm air. Lots of misting can happen now in this corner. I feel relieved and happy that now I can see whether the roots are gonna grow into that hop filter material straight away. Ah, <sighs> Serrata labium is also gasping for a drink, as is the mother plant. But I am going to, once again, thank you so, so much for being here. If you've liked the video, fantastic. Thank you so much for that. If you've been here for the first time and have decided to subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for that. Please let me know in the comments if this is the first time you're seeing a video of mine and if you've subscribed, I'd love to say hi, love to meet you. And while they do their drip, 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 <laughs> have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though please that you stay safe take care bye oh and i hope you enjoy the earworm alert <laughs> bye <laughs>